Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick, we're playing Stationeers. Now we are back in our starter base, just getting some food, some water, uh, oxygen, we're all good to go. Right, so that should not interrupt us for a little bit longer. Um, get you out of my way. And I think we've got anything. I don't want to grab, no, I don't want to grab the plant analyzer from out of there. How's my jetpack going? Ugh. We need some more jetpack in there. Uh, not that one, that one. Yeah. Oh, we'll take it. And we need more in there. But I'll not wait around for that. Let's get back into it now. Last time we pressurized the main room, main workshop there. So we've got pressurized room. It's been a little while since the last episode there. So it's had some time to, to warm up and pressurize up and all of that sort of stuff. I have pressure tested the greenhouse and I've got that sealed up as well. And of course set up this. So I probably should turn that into an airlock uh, pretty soon. Maybe now might be a good idea to do that. Um, you are the outer. You are the outer. You are the inner. And you are the inner. Right, uh, you jump up there now. John external shall be zero. Internal we'll put to uh, 50. Oh no, this one doesn't have a very good ventilation system on it. We'll, uh, we'll set it to zero as well. That'll do. I have the gas sensor. I have the outer. That's the inner. Uh, around light, outer vent, the inner vent, and we should be good. Uh, all happy? All happy. Right, we'll see if that works. Now, inside I have sealed up all of this, sealed up all of this. Uh, put the last of the roof bits on. I have pressure tested it. Try to drop some oxide in here. It's only 28 kilopascals, but uh, drop some oxide in here to try and uh, pressurize it all up. I've put in some ventilation and some power, and I put in the same, the same uh, uh, life support system we've got in the in the main room there. So this is bringing in. From the, the, the oxygen and nitrogen, bring in just a volume pump. Uh, so when it gets too hot in here, it'll blow in the cold gas. And uh, I've got the overpressure vent there when we've got too much gas in here. But other than that, that's about all there is in it. And of course, some light switcher. And then switch off when we lose the, leave the room to save some power. And uh, yeah, we're all good. Uh, but we have that now. I've rearranged rearrange them. I'm going to do my harveys at the moment. So I have set them up. So if I move them this far apart, this row of them was over here. You figure if I put them this far apart, I just need the two grow lights and I can get all 12 of those set up off the two grow lights. So I can do that. I'll have to move those ones and put up some grow lights here. Uh, put the harveys up. Which will give me a heap of room in the middle now, which I didn't have planned for. So that could be, I don't know, a nice shrubbery or or chickens. I haven't had chickens for a long time. They're apparently working again now, so I can do that. Maybe we'll find out. Uh, I just had to put them there to hold the grow lights. Uh, but you lot. Uh, yeah, yeah, put some more grow lights up on them. Move them. Uh, yeah, we'll get to that. Uh, so I've got that, got our chip in there to control the, the uh, room. Um, now I have, 
Uh, we've got to put in... Now this room is... Yes, yeah, so this room's up to pressure and temperature now, so this one's coming along quite nicely. The power has finally managed to recharge. We've got a full set of batteries in there now. Lovely. Um, I'm still probably getting errors in here. Yeah, got a few alarms up. I might set up the alarm system. I could do that pretty easily. Just put up a rack of lights over here. I just need to hook it up to main power, which I've got just there. And I should be able to put up uh, an alarm system. Which I have been setting up with these memories. Um, that one's doing nothing. That one's working. The one in the greenhouse is working. And the power one, I think, is working. So I can hook those three up at least. Uh, so if I grab some lights and some signs and press the button. There we go. You, I grab some Siggins. Uh, not that many. More than that. Grab them there and some lights. Uh, grab them as well. I think I've got some cables. Uh, run the cable along the bottom. I've got the signs. Yeah, the lights on top. Put the lights on top. But I've got nothing else up here. Let's get the lights. Make sure I can see the thing. Right, put these signs up. Uh, that's the way up it goes. The light goes. I see that above the lockers. I could probably put that down lower. Am I worrying too much? Yeah, crowbar. Yeah, I can read that easy. I'll put the lights up there, just on top of them. Uh. Alright, and I shall need some power to all of them. Uh, you... 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 And... Doop! Right. And now, I shall need to program an alarm. Okay. Thank you. Uh, now, we've got nothing in there. So, I shall need to know... Um, probably need to know... I need to know what, alarm, what alarms are. I'll push all the alarms into the stack and use the stack to go through all the alarms there. So when I want to add any more of them there, I can just uh, add more. Uh, so we want to first set up the stack. So if we push to the stack, we want... Um, uh, we want to uh, hash... Uh, our, oops, our alarm, and what else have we got? Uh, we've got the workshop and the greenhouse. And I shall uh, push a zero just to tell a program that we've reached the end of the list. That sets up our alarms. So I'll just add more of them in there. So insert extra lines in there and that should work. So now I shall have to put in a, a reset. Uh, 
yield and that will change the move the stack pointer to zero and the main loop will be here so first time I go through it has to reset because the after pushing them in the stack pointer will be set to three so I think I shall have to say we need, need to increase uh, the stack pointer by one uh, we shall peak to R0 well that might be important so let's uh, let's 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 uh, remember that one the alarm you are 10 so we'll peak and that will get us the name of the alarm right so that'll pull whatever values out of the stack at that location and put it into the alarm uh, so I shall need to know I the memory uh, confirm one so uh, memory you because I'm going to batch batch right to them or batch read from them so I shall uh, load batch named into R0 from the device hatch which is the alarm uh, no which is the device hatch which is the memory the alarm logic type will be the setting from the memory and batch mode there should only be one uh, so anything will do average will be fine uh, so it should read from the memory named power alarm uh, cool uh, so then I can save batch named to the light I don't have the light I'll need the light uh, define light Earth an LED what it is right there you go that is you oh that's not going to work now is it uh, okay so that's that's the number that'll be the three digit number which will have the uh, color and the message in it so I can say divide R1 equals the value in there divided by a hundred and then truncate that and that should just be the color so save to set batch name the light named whatever alarm it is to the color oops R1 and jump to the start oh that's habit isn't it let's call it a main then we'll stick with that one right so it should go through when it gets to, it's got to get to the end of the list right peak alarm we say uh, branch equal to zero alarm jump back to reset right so we'll set that we'll increment it read the alarm if the alarm is zero it's got to the end go so go back to reset if it's not reached the end of the list we shall read in the value from the memory we shall divide that by 100 and truncate it to get the color and save that color to the light we're not worried about the message at the moment we'll just let that one
go. Then it jumps to the next phone, which increments the stack pointer, reads the next alarm, and so on. Uh, and that might work. Oh, okay, there we go. So I need to now go and say you are called our alarm. Alarm. You are called our. You should be called. Yeah. Our alarm. We get a green light. Nice. Okay. What else did we have? We had the workshop. Should be you. No, that's not it. That 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 that's a storm alarm. I haven't even programmed that yet. Uh, so that one is the workshop alarm uh, copy you and paste you nice no 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 you right workshop and that one is giving us an error for 43 uh, what 43 was our pollutants okay um is there pollutants in there it's tiny amount maybe I want to turn down the sensitivity on that um yeah So if I grab you, import you, a tiny amount of pollutants is not going to be an issue. So we're looking for ratio pollutants max set greater than zero. Maybe not greater than zero. Uh, how about we set greater than uh, 0.1 percent? That's a tiny amount. That's not going to hurt anyone. Uh, so I'm going to export you. Take you into there. There we go. We get a green light now because the pollutant's not a problem. Well, not a huge amount of a problem. Uh, right. Now, if we want a storm alarm, well, there won't be any storms. I can still set up a storm alarm. Um, but I want the the greenhouse uh, I'll have to come to the other room to write that one uh, easy done uh, so that's got more than 0.1 in there so that should be giving us a pollutant warning and probably a low pressure as well uh, but you are the Greenhouse alarm. Uh, yep, copy that one. Oh, I have to do that one as well. Oh, we're almost up to 20 megapascals. Nice. Uh, and what else? We want greenhouse alarm. Nice. Right, that one does have, have a warning for us. Uh, what else did we want over here? We wanted our... I, written, uh, I don't think I've written an alarm for that one, have I? Uh, that is a state zero. Uh, okay. Oh, 
Okay, so what can go wrong with that one? We just want to know when there's low pressure, wouldn't we? Um, yeah. So, so load into R0 from the tank. Uh, so I the alarm. The alarm to R10. So load into R0 from the tank. Uh, pressure uh, shall set less than if it's less than oh, I don't know two megapascals. We'll start to give a low pressure warning. It shouldn't get down to that, but yeah, I will just make sure. If it does, something's definitely gone wrong, and that's when we'll say low pressure. Now we do have the volume of liquid that greater than zero. We're putting out the warning on that. I might also put out a color of that. So we shall select. So if there is liquid there, so select alarm. There is liquid in there. It means, uh, well, it just means it's busy. Don't use it. So we might give a warning alarm on that one. Uh, so we want. Oh, where was that one? On here, if I remember. Uh, color. Oh, come on. So if I pick, I'll pick a blue. Blue to say it's running. Okay, select alarm based on R0. So if it's safe to use, we get a green. 200. If it's not safe to use, we'll just give it a zero, which should be a blue light uh, or a green light with no message or a blue light with no message if it's if it's liquids in there. Uh, if the pressure is low, we will overwrite that alarm and we shall select alarm based on R0. If there is low pressure, we want to say low pressure. Uh, have low pressure, pressure low, pressure low 40, and a yellow light, which is 5. So if we say pressure is low, 540, or, or just keep whatever's in alarm. And we shall save to the uh, memory setting. Uh, a alarm. Confirm. I shall yoink you. I shall yoink you. And it's all good. Now, if I call you, uh, air supply. For you now that one won't work, so I haven't got it in my alarm list yet. you uh, coffee paste and air, air supply pink and the air supply is green is the next one in? Uh, I could put up a storm alarm, which I haven't programmed yet, uh, but we'll get to that one. Now, I've got to put in a CO2 collector because uh, at the moment I'm just collecting and uh, blowing in oxygen and nitrogen, and it will eventually 
over time displace all the CO2 in the room. It's got a long way to go in here. He's not going to displace that in a big hurry. But uh, once we get plants going, that will chew up all of that. As it gets hot in here, it will just keep blowing in more gas, which it is currently doing at a rate of 0 0.154 litres per second. Now, I probably could uh, reduce the amount that I need on that one. If I put some radiators on the vents on the outside of their supply, I should uh, I should re allow it to radiate out some heat rather than being reliant on blowing in cold air. Uh, so pipe radiators. If I grab say uh, yeah, I'll grab ten of them. That'll do. I put some of them just on the pipe that is up there. That should be able to vent out some of the heat directly to the atmosphere. Being Mars, it's not going to do a great deal, but it should uh, reduce some of the some of the demand that's on that. Chew uh, off. So it is 0.14. If we go and put up a heap of them, when you're ready. Uh, it should hopefully come back to less than 1.43. Yoink. Right, now hopefully we get that done before it gets dark and spoils the experiment completely. Now I'll be able to have a look again tomorrow. I would have forgotten 1.43 by then though. And wink. No, 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 not you. Uh, I want yes, gas. Um, and it's night time. Awesome. Right, and that should be venting out some of that heat Oop, straight outside. Uh, I can switch that off. And I have air locked that one. Yep. Now that has hopefully come down. Oh. That might be just because it's night time though. Well, we'll see. We'll see tomorrow. And right, so that's uh well that's that done. Now that is getting up to 20 megapascals. The light, yep, see the light's gone blue to say that it's switched on. Yay! That's not an error, it's just uh let us know that it's running. That's part of its normal operation. And I need some more gold. Now let's put in bigger stacks. Oink. Here we go. Now, um, we were setting up, setting up a CO2 intake. So I shall need a vent. Ooh, I shall need some pipes. I've got some pipes. I shall need a tank. There's one of them. Uh, I shall need some liquid drains, uh, which I don't have. I shall need a couple of them. Whoops, drains start with a D. Yeah, maybe not 10. Uh, that'll do. I probably don't even need a tank for that. The tank will give me the data I need. Yeah, it doesn't take much to fill it up. That'll be fine. Um, right, so that should be what I need. So I need it in the greenhouse. Over here, I mean, this is just a 
interior door so that's not going to hold back anything I could put it up there um, put into there somewhere. I've got chips to put a controller in. I don't have a chip. Well, I've got a socket to put a chip in if I had to wear a chip. Uh, so, up there will be as good a spot as any, I think. Now, I've airlocked the dew. I'll need to get power into that room. Right. You're over there. You're over there. I put the intake vent over here. I run the outlets over to here. It's only a small vent, so it shouldn't suck in as much, and there shouldn't be as much liquid coming out of it. Uh, because it's just going to be the pollutant that condenses. I will run it during the day. And uh, should be okay. Nice to get power inside. I think I've got power just there. So I can run that through. Put me vent over here. Thank you. Yeah, nope, you. Another tank on the front there. They're just working too hard to try and line them all up together. I'll have the data for that. That'll need to be hooked up. That'll probably do us. Uh, you, you. Yeah, no, you I need to get that inside. Connect to that pipe just here. I'll probably have to go around and down the other side so I can put a vent, a uh, volume pump just in here. Uh, connect over to the other side. I should turn that around, shouldn't I? That would have been more efficient. You'd have to be pretty OCD to go and do that. Yeah. Uh, right, so you can hook up to you, to you. the power out before we go do that. That's the wrong one. And you. Oh, vent there. Okay, so you're coming right through that way by the looks of things. And you will be volume pump onto there. You are coming through there. And you And you hook up to there. Okay. 
which means you need to go there. You can hook into that pipe there. Volume pump goes in there for controlling the CO2. Now I just have to get this to somewhere I can dump everything. Ah, uh, show you. You back up again. left. Yeah, okay. Didn't quite get there, but that'll do us. And some liquid drains. Now I should be able to switch that on during the day, capture the CO2, pressurize the CO2. Uh, that's not what I want. Uh, so I should be able to pick up the carbon dioxide, oxygen and nitrogen. Now the pollutant will overpressurize and be cold enough to liquefy and go out. Now I should be left carbon dioxide, oxygen and nitrogen. It will be mostly carbon dioxide. So we've got 95% CO2, a little bit of oxygen, a little bit of nitrogen, but they're not going to bother anyone. So that will be our carbon dioxide supply. Uh, nope, try again. That's the one I want. Uh, you so you should be CO2. That should be all I need. That was too easy. What have I forgotten? Uh, do I want an alarm for my CO2? I didn't really allow for one in there. Ah, I need a chip. Oh, I could just open that up. Uh, I want... a lamb. Unless I've got one. No, I haven't. So I'll want to just have that one and I'll probably just about copy copy that program and run it into the that one over there. If I copy the I copy the program that I've used for the for the uh, air intake. Uh, do I still have that on the computer? Um, yeah, no. I yank you out. Import that one. You back. Now, so I'm doing basically the same thing. Except uh, we shall have carbon dioxide tank. I shall have the carbon dioxide vent memory. Um, I do want another memory, don't I? Means I'll have to move that and hook up another memory. That's doable. Let this move you down to there. And then I can hook up the sensor, which is the gas sensor, the occupancy sensor, which is the occupancy sensor, the cooler, which is the cooler pump, and the exhaust, which is caution. the exhaust vent, and the memory, which is the logic memory. 
example, the greenhouse law. Right. We're all good. So now I want to rip out you and put in another logic memory that we can attach to the main power. So I need memory and I need stuff probably. I need to empty my tank. Okay, I can do that inside. It'll help pressurize the base. I probably could leave those doors open too. And oh. Well, I'll use them. <laughs> uh, the radio. Right, now I have a couple of spare chips. So that one is the... Start labelling these before we lose them. That is the greenhouse housing and this will be the CO2 you know, housing. Right, so CO vent, the housing, the alarm. Now we should load the. Uh, we should load the um, solar angle. So uh, we should want to switch on during the daytime. So we shall say set uh, less than uh, during the day. Any time should be good enough. They set less than 90 degrees, which means it's above the horizon. And if we've got less than, well, I'll probably just go to 10 megapascals on this one because we don't need a lot of CO2. We're only pumping in a couple of percent as the plants use it. And set the, the CO2 tank and the CO2 vent on. Now we should want to say... If there's any liquids in there, uh, I don't need to send that out to, because it'll only be used in this room. So I can just, I can transmit it into this room. Do I want to? Don't really need to. Yeah, let's not worry about that. Uh, but if there's any liquids in there, We'll set the alarm um, to tank. If the pressure is less than 2 megapascals, give us a warning. So it's almost the same. So we read the angle. If it's daytime and there's less than 10 megapascals in there, switch the vent on. If there's any liquids in there, uh, set the alarm. If it's low pressure, set the alarm write the alarm back again. Uh, that should be all we need. Um, we export that to you. Put you on. Right, so we have CO2 vent, which was the active vent, because I didn't rename it. Well done. The memory, which is just the logic memory, because I didn't rename it. Uh, we want the CO2 tank, which will just be the 
a small tank. I didn't rename it. And the no devices will be no device. Okay, so that's giving me a low pressure and it should be switched on. Maybe. We can go have a look. Oh, and I might want to set it to inwards too, you idiot. That'll work better. Uh, right, so that will be... My... air 2 vent. And my... air 2 tank. How are we going on that? Uh, not a lot, but it'll get there. Okay, so now I can set up that alarm as well. And I'll need to hook up some more lights, some more alarms. So that one will be our... Uh, try again. You know, to alarm. And I'll need my computer because I'll need to program it into the uh, into the alarm. Alarm. Yoink. And I want the uh, copy you, paste you, maybe the CO2 alarm. Yoink. And we get a yellow light on that one too, because it's under pressure. Now uh, we can get the we can get the uh, get the announcements done later on, but that'll do us now. Uh, getting up a little bit of an alarm board, status board. Uh, got a couple of green lights. That's good. Uh, is that one of the things I was wanting to do. I think it was. I was kind of hoping we get more than that done, but yeah, that'll probably do us. You can probably wire up some... Oh, I've got to finish hooking up the CO2 supply, don't I? Uh, you're still going. That's got over a thousand iron in it now. Okay, I think I switched off one of those drills and it's... Uh... Yeah, I switched off one of them. I've only got three of them going now and it's uh, still struggling to keep up with just uh, two of them. So two of them per uh, centrifuge is enough on Mars. But, uh, that hasn't hasn't uh, hasn't filled up yet. Okay, I'm not sure if it does have a maximum now, but uh, we'll we'll find out. I put an APC in there because I did keep running it out of power each time I uh, each time it switched on, or I cut the cables for something else. Okay, so our air supply is collecting at night time, as it should be. Uh, I could put some consoles on that other one, on the CO2 one. Yeah. Of course I will, but uh, not yet. Um, yeah, I'll go do it. <laughs> oh, come on, we all knew I was going to do it. never get to 100 consoles if I don't put 100 consoles on everything. Uh, consoles. 
Uh, two of them. I uh, should have some glass kicking around. Yeah. Uh, Gas. I don't need a temperature. Actually, I need one, don't I? Just the pressure will be fine. Yoink. Uh, that'll probably do us for now. You know, we'll switch off. Ah, oh, isn't that pretty power supply? Hmm. We're not using that much power. We're doing all right so far. Once I start switching on grow lights and stuff. Uh, you're getting up to 20 megapascals. Nice. Now. I have my. Yoink. Power supply just up there. Get in there. Yep. yep, nope. You get in there. You go to the CO2 tank. Wink. Pressure. That'll do us. Oh, that's pathetic. Ow. Uh, right. So that's the CO2 hooked up. I need a CO2 pump, which we had right there. You should need to be hooked up. Nice. And you'll need to get a name. CO2 pump. Right, so now on our room controller, which was you, I now need to control the CO2, which I do have a spare pin for. Excellent. Um, but I don't have the CO2 tank on there. Uh, okay. Okay, so CO2 pump. There it is. Right, so uh, alias the CO2 pump to D5. Now I need to know when it's safe to actually pump stuff in. Okay, so I shall load into R0 from the sensor the ratio of carbon dioxide. We shall say set less than. We want it to come on. Well, actually, I might just put on a P controller again. Uh, so we shall uh, subtract R0 equals. We want to come on when it's low. So we need to put the set point first, 5% minus the current value. So if it's low, it is 0.4. So 0.05 minus 0.04 is a positive number. Oh, we should probably need to, that'll be a very small positive number. Uh, so I'll probably want to multiply R0 by 100 and save to the CO2 pump setting uh, zero. Uh, confirm. Yoink. Export you. Good. So you should now be reading zero because we've got plenty of CO2 in there. Right, so that is doing that. So now I just need to be able to switch that on or off uh, when the tank is safe to use. I might have to, I can set it onto here. Uh, 
I've got the angle sitting there. Right, I can just sit that. Uh, I've still got a. I might broadcast that. So uh, if I broadcast it onto this circuit, nothing is being broadcast on this circuit. So if I. Uh, if I call you. Yoink, come here. If this is going to be a white circuit. So nothing is currently being broadcast onto here. If I take my CO2, import you, the volume of liquid, that equal to zero, I can uh, save to the DB housing. Both outputs of the DB housing are connected to this circuit, so I can just write to either of them. Uh, channel zero, uh, zero. Um, export you. And that's that's broadcasting from here to channel zero. The other ones are broadcasting and receiving from the red cable on this joint junction here. Uh, so it's getting signals from the red cable. This one is getting sending a cable out, a signal out on channel zero of the white cable. Now this one, import, can now read that. Uh, so down here, we can load from the DB housing because it's connected to the white cable. This channel, channel zero. Uh, come on, get it right. Load into R zero from the V hairs in channel zero. We can save to the uh, notice gives us a one or a zero. If it's safe to use, it gives us a one. So I can just save to the CO two pump on R zero. So if it's Broadcasting a zero, it's not safe to use, it'll switch it off. Broadcasting a one, it is safe to use, it'll switch it on. Export that. And it's switched it on. Because it is night time, there is no liquids in there, it is switched off. It is safe to use. Of course, we don't need the CO2, so the volume is set, set down to zero. Okie dokie. That's all done. So I've got the greenhouse set up. It's pressurized. It'll be temperature controlled through there. It'll provide breathable atmosphere. It'll provide CO2. Uh, it'll provide a supply of CO2 from there. And I say, just got to hook up my grow lights, hook them up to power, and. Um, Might be good. Set up a couple more grow lights, realign them, put up my Harveys. Uh, they're kind of strewn all over the place now. Uh, you, you, uh, come on, get there, get there. They're back to front. All right. You get the general idea. You, you, you. Right, so I'll hook them up. I shall connect them all up with shoots. I shall put up the rest of them. Hook up the grow lights to power. And uh, see if I can sort them out into something neat in between episodes. But um, yes, yeah, so that's where I'm at. The greenhouse is getting ready to go. I need to, well, I need to hook up water and everything else. So maybe it's not really that neat. Uh, close to being done but uh yeah we're getting there we're getting there we've got our alarm panel hooked up so i've got lots of uh <laughs> she's always clicking the the uh frame of the door to try and close the manual doors got an alarm panel with the flashing lights on it ah uh, there's, there's there's no machine that goes ping 
Uh, well, that seems... Well, I got the greenhouse automated. We're good. We're getting there. I've still got to do the centrifuge. I've still got to do... Um, still got to put the grow lights in. Uh, and a lot of other things still. Still got a lot more to do. Uh, but that's about it for today. So until next time, happy building. See ya.